that I sing, Record. I can make the rain go anytime I move my finger. Oh, hello, old friend. Can I didn't see you there. How are you? I've been here. I've been here all your life. Oh, well, that's quite lovely. <laughs> that. I was just listening to some Sinatra. I so see that. A young fellow. I believe he has a bright future. He is a special fellow. <laughs> um, well, uh, we decided to have an accent today. Um, I don't know why. Is it Hallow's Eve? Oh, I see the wonderful Wonder Woman. She's looking over my shoulder. Oh. Beautiful. I wish to one day look like her. Me too. <laughs> Linda Carter was such a good Wonder Woman. Yes, she was. But let's not forget Gal Gadot. She's quite yes. lovely. She is lovely. Yes, she's a beautiful Wonder Woman. Um, well, yes. Uh, we decided to have an accent today. I don't know why. Is it because it's Hallow's Eve? I don't know. Is it because we're crazy? Perhaps. Perhaps. Just because? Per se. <laughs> Are you ready, old friend? I'm right. I'm right good. I'm right ready to do this poor cast up. <laughs> Shall we start? Yes, let's do it. All right. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two, test, one, two. Well, get on the way. Uh, we are the Bodega <laughs> oh, well, I believe it's lit. It I am. Lit. Uh, I am 50 speeches. Marisa here. She's got, you know, a bit of a cough. Sorry about that. It's a <laughs> oh. little whiskey. Oh, no. Well, I got my martini ready. In a glass of wine. Oh, I got these lovely glasses yesterday. They're so pretty. Do you got enough olives in there? I believe I have just enough. Okay. <laughs> They're big ones, you see. I see. I like the big ones. Well, that's what she said. They're very juicy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I don't quite know what we are doing here. But for some reason, I believe we should be the ones to start it. Salute, old friend. Yes. Um, well, I'll tell you a story. Sorry. I was sitting by the window, staring at the stars in the dark. I was thinking about my cat. I love him. I kiss him in the mouth from time to time. Well, he's my best friend, you see, besides you, of course. I believe that if he was human, we would be quite happy together and have a joyous life, have little kittens running around. But he's not, so I just kiss him in the mouth and then throw up a little bit because he does lick his balls, you see. <laughs> well. Oh, I've got a male cat too, and I, he is quite the cat, but I don't, <laughs> I don't kiss him. He would probably bite me if I, bit, if I kissed him. Oh my. Yes. Well, that's horrible. Doesn't he love you? Does he know, doesn't he, he know does. the one that feeds him? Um, he's a little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's quite awful. I feel very sorry for you. 
I love kissing him, kissing the little whiskers of my little kitten. He does I bite do. <laughs> I, I do time. kiss him on the head, on the top of the head. <laughs> I do kiss him on the head too, but it's not the same. You see, the lips are different. He hates it, but it makes me feel loved. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds a little pervy to me. <laughs> well, it's not. It's not at all. It's uh, it's a bit of a difficult relationship to explain. I believe that COVID has made me a little paranoid and a little crazy, more than what I already was. I see. I get it now. Yes. Uh, or maybe it's the fifth martini. That just makes me want to kiss him in the mouth. I've been drinking gin, you see, switched from vodka. And uh, it is quite strong. It's fogging up. My, my stomach, it makes it feel uh, warm and fuzzy inside. Yes, I do believe I like the gin and tonic and vodka martinis. Mm. Once it hits the lips, it's quite lovely. Um, so how are you, old friend? I'm good. Um, I've be, been a little bit under the weather. I've got a bit of a little sniffles. I think oh. it's allergies, but I've not been, been doing nothing. Just sitting around trying to stave off the, the cold, if you will. <laughs> Well, that's great. You take care of yourself, dear. You're beautiful, okay. and you need to be strong and healthy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's quite fun. What is it, dear? What is it, dear? Well, I was thinking of what I was going to tell you, and I completely forgot. You see, it might be the martini. It might be my crazy mind. I don't know. I think it might be a little both. A little bit of both, perhaps. Perhaps you're right. I, uh, I've been watching a lot of Alfred Hitchcock movies. I've been watching, and I've already seen them twice or three times in the last two weeks. I've been watching Real Window. I've been watching a lot of The Twilight Zone. I've been watching uh, Cycle. And my absolute favorite, the birds. It scares me, but I love it. Well, I can't watch the scary movies by myself. I need someone to be here with me. But I did watch The Blob. Oh. Have you ever seen it? I have. <laughs> I have seen it. It's uh, it's all right, I, I guess. <laughs> It's not too scary. It's kind of just a little bit. I don't even know how to. I don't even have the words for it. Well, isn't it for children? <laughs> it's a PG thirteen. <laughs> it's way back in the nineteen fifties, I believe, maybe sixties. Oh. But it's. Do you know which one I'm talking about? I know which one you're talking about. Um, it's like an oldie. I haven't seen that movie in quite some time. But uh, some time. Uh, is it on Netflix? Uh, it's on HBO. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> well, I won't see it. But um, I watched a movie the other day on this other device called. Um, streaming service uh this one is called pantalla it's for the latinos you see and uh, the movie was called rec r-e-c as in record and it was from spain and spain. it was a combination of the blair witch project and um some sort of other bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> it was all right. 
it scared the bejesus out of me for like 30 minutes. But then I had to watch another one because I couldn't sleep. Not because I was scared, but because I wanted to drink some more. <laughs> and I was trying to stop myself. <laughs> it's quite difficult for me, you see. Oh, I know. I just got a package in the mail in from Amazon of something I don't remember ordering. <laughs> um, oh, my. They're like these green rectangular pads. I don't know what they're to put hot stuff on, I guess. I guess oh. I needed it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are they for? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I tried to look at the, like, where it was from. Maybe I could go back to my Amazon and see if what I ordered. But I don't remember. Were you watching an infomercial? <laughs> <laughs> they're hot pads and they're green. And I thought it was for, I got a Swifter. You know the Swifters? I need one of those. I, I have two. I ordered two. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'll give it to you. It's got I, all the pads and the little cleany things. I need it for my fans. They're quite filthy. I should get up there and clean them with a the rag, but I'm lazy. And so, I ordered some. Um, what USB, are these called? USB devices. I ordered two. Why? Why are you ordering a doubles, dear? I thought that I didn't order them. <laughs> and then I ordered them again. I couldn't look at my history and see, oh, I ordered them. So I ordered them again. Oh, so no. I'll bring them to you. Well, that's lovely. Then your drunkness, it's my gift. <laughs> and let me tell you a story about this glass of wine. Oh, please do. I found it <laughs> in my room. It's still good. <laughs> well, that's all right. Where was it? Uh, on my dresser. Oh, I see. You know, away from my bed. Because so, sometimes I have a little nip nightcap before <laughs> I go to sleep. And it's not... But it was where my clothes were in the dresser, on top of the dresser drawer. I see. And so, I woke up this morning and the vacuum cleaner was out. Oh no. I think I, think I vacuumed the floor. <laughs> and the belt broke. Because oh. I tried to suck up a sock oh. and it got, so I had to pull the sock out and change the belt. I went back to bed. I don't remember much about that after that. <laughs> That's probably how I lost the glass of wine. <laughs> but easily retrieved. Just put a little ice cube in it. Did you wash it? <laughs> the ice cube? The ice cube. I believe the alcohol has some sort of chemicals that probably helps with the cleaning. <laughs> let's it was a crazy night. Let's just say that. Well, me I and myself. <laughs> tell me, tell me what you were saying. I'm uh, watching the a dog. Of one of my relatives. His name is. Your dog sitting again. Yes. Okay. And he's Bucky McBuckyson. He oh. barks at everything. Oh no. Right now he's barking at my neighbors. My neighbors are gonna complain. Gonna get an ordinance from the police. Oh Lordy. You don't want the police to show up at your doorstep. That's quite well, frightening nowadays. It's a very good thing you are Anglo. <laughs> I was just going to say that. I'm a Caucasian. Oh, it's good thing you're a Yankee. <laughs> and not some uh, 
British or perhaps British people are quite all right. We never know. Well, I was uh, in a bit of a rush uh, earlier. I ordered groceries because I was lazy, you see, and I didn't want to go pick them up myself. And I figured if I subtract one of the items, then why not use that for delivery? Well, I don't like it when they replace my items because I like to buy what I like to buy. So I say no replacing, click. Well, the gentleman, he was quite interesting. I will read you his text messages. <laughs> Nobody has ever contacted me like this before. Not when I order some groceries. But he said to me, <laughs> he said, uh, he said, uh, <laughs> greetings, my government name. It's uh, Chandler here. I hope your day is well. Just letting you know I'm starting your order. I'm going to give you my absolute best, my best oh. service, accomplishing it all and giving my all just like I do. If there are any questions about the items, I love to ask them here in this chat. I'm excited the moment you, I'm excited for the moment you get your groceries. Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I do believe that's good customer service, but a little, little creepy. It's a bit creepy. I love bit. good customer service. I first was afraid. I was looking at my camera. <laughs> Is it Chandler from Friends. <laughs> well, guess what? His name is Chandler B. <laughs> so I thought myself too. I thought it was an Anglo. Well, this is what happened later on. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> so I just said, thank you. <laughs> he said, anytime, exclamation mark. Whoa. Then he, then all of a sudden, all of my products started being refunded because he wasn't finding them. You see, I was ordering some Russell Wilson sprouts because you made me hungry for them. Russell. <laughs> And he said they didn't have any. Then I ordered some key limes for all the beer that I drink. He said they didn't have any. <laughs> then he had to replace uh, my organic blend of perfect balance of spinach. I didn't even know I ordered that. <laughs> then he said that he couldn't find any rosemary. How will I cook my steaks? Then he said that he couldn't find my baby Bella mushrooms. How will I make my chiles toreados? Then he said he couldn't find my kettle brand barbecue potato chips. Oh my God. That was the biggest heartbreak because I wanted those barbecue potato chips tonight, do you see? I was going to watch Saturday Night Live with my potato chips and my hot sauce and my martini. Well, I said, they don't have any key limes for Russell Wilson sprouts. He said, negative, they do not. What should I do to continue? <laughs> I said, thanks, that's fine. <laughs> he said, anytime. And then he said, it's very scarce here. Scarce, scarce, how do you pronounce that? Scarce, scarce. scarce. There you go. Scarce. And, and Chandler B. Send me a, I'm checking out and I'm on my way. And then he wrote me another long text message that says, well, greetings, my government name. It's Chandler here. It's another beautiful day outside and also inside here in your order. Just Whoa. let you know, I'm moving very efficiently and effectively and finishing as we speak. See you shortly and most importantly, have a great rest of your day. It's truly been a pleasure. Wow. <laughs> then, when I look at my cameras and I see this African-American gentleman approaching my door, I suddenly wasn't so scared. Because <laughs> I thought it was 
<laughs> one of those weirdos that was gonna murder me and usually they're Anglo. <laughs> so I was fine. <laughs> As he walked away, he waved, but I hadn't even opened the door yet. <laughs> so <laughs> that was my <laughs> afternoon. Wow. <laughs> I went in the shower late and I was a bit late to the podcast. But I wanted to tell you, I, um, yeah, that was interesting, my friend. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. I need another drink. <laughs> <laughs> Will you say I'm babysitting mine? <laughs> the olives or taking a swim in a gin? I better eat one. Tell me a story while I eat it. <laughs> well, my story starts in the bedroom. <laughs> no, I was watching, uh, uh, you know, some social media. We won't name any names. And these Hawaiian gentlemen. Oh, Lordy, I know who you're talking about. We're eating. We're having a papaya oh. eating contest. I thought you were speaking about the gentlemen that wear the Hawaiian shirts and are killing people. Oh, I didn't know about that. No, thanks my for putting that in my head. <laughs> Speak about your papaya. Well, <laughs> it was very titillating. Ooh. <laughs> this young gentleman, Hawaiian, big muscled guy, was quite attractive. Oh. Eating the papaya very slowly. Mm. You know, it wasn't going to town on it. It was just <laughs> like, it was very erotic. He was so, enjoying every single bite. So I thought to myself, mm. I want to be a papaya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. <laughs> and the Hawaiian man could eat my papaya. Any time. <laughs> it's quite messy. Was he eating it with a fork? No, just his mouth. Oh my. It was like this. He was down. He was down in the town. Oh my. And yes. And his Do hands were behind his back. Oh. So all, so all he was using was his mouth and tongue. <laughs> Was this some sort of contest or something? <laughs> that sounded like a different... It's a, you know, your random papaya eating contest in Hawaii. <laughs> Does sound quite erotic. <laughs> oh my god. I did look up papaya and it, it was very... I had to get some toys out after that. Oh, my friend. Well, yeah. do they have a version for the lesbians? <laughs> With the lady eating the papaya? <laughs> well, you could be the person eating the papaya. But I want to see a lovely lady eating it so I can have some wonderful dreams and videos to use. So when I take care of myself... Um, I don't know the particulars, but I'm sure I could be one of your relationship <laughs> my, uh, goals for your partner. <laughs> that sounds lovely. I want to have a papaya eating contest. <laughs> you go first. <laughs> I wonder if my little situation ship or a lovely lady would agree to eat a papaya like so. That sounds very interesting. You see, I used to believe that eating a pussy was like... <laughs> pussy. Pussy. Was more like eating a mango. You see, I love mangoes. They're so juicy and so sweet. And they're a bit messy, but so rewarding at the end. So I used to think like that. Oh, speaking about that. I got new hats. Some I of you watching that. IO Kittens and Cats, you watching on YouTube, you see this beautiful hat. I got it from a place called Peaches and Mango, which I thought it was a calling for me. And um, 
So shout out to Peaches and Mangles. Very good quality hats. I love them. I bought... Oh, to get me one. I purchased three, you see. <laughs> <laughs> I was drunk that night as well. <laughs> you know, I love well, my hats. <laughs> I wish I would just would have ordered a hat instead of these green <laughs> rectangular things. I don't know. You don't know what they Oh my. <laughs> Let me tell you a story about peaches and mango too. Um, about um, a few days ago, I was speaking with our friend Joel and he was telling me how he purchased some hats. He said he saw this website and they were on sale. I told him I did as well. I told him the hats were already delivered but I accidentally shipped them to my brother's address. So I said, I haven't seen them, but I ordered some for myself as well. He said he ordered one. I said, what color? He said, blue. I said, well, I order a red, a blue and a tan. And that was that. I said, I'll look at it on Saturday. So Saturday I went to my mother's house. I picked up my mail, got my hats. I loved them. So this morning, I sent him a text message, and I told him the hats are beautiful. You're going to love them. He said, we ordered one that's called the Classic, which is this one. He said, send me a picture of the Classic. I did. He tells me I ordered the same one in the same color. I said, why do we always do this? He said, it was some twinanigans. <laughs> I told, him, I told him not to wear it when I wear it, <laughs> but he said we will be twin anniganing. <laughs> twin anniganing. <laughs> oh my. We show up to our jobs like we <laughs> we have we have a we had an intern you see one time, and she asked us, "Why do you guys have a uniform?" And we said, "Excuse me." And we looked at each other and we were both wearing the same shit. <laughs> this lovely lady thought we had a uniform. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my. My, my, my. <laughs> Let's see what else happened. What else happened? Uh, <laughs> I'll Can tell we you break? Yeah, you need a you need a drink. Yes. Go get you a drink. Okay. Make if we right back. I forgot to warn you and tell you something, friend. I forgot to let you know that I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> I'm not wearing any bra. Uh, <laughs> me neither. <laughs> so I got the scarf. Well, I am. Well, you know, I don't got nothing to work with, so it's quite all right for me. But um, I'm I'm wearing what my grandmother used to call the guardapedos, which meant keeping your fart safe. <laughs> don't mind those little pants <laughs> so I apologize if you got an awful image <laughs> on your camera <laughs> I didn't see no I didn't see no I didn't okay great you know what I just realized friend oh <laughs> well those are quite lovely they're swifter my, I looked at my history I did order them <laughs> oh I thought it were the green things where you Put things that you said you bought. These are, it goes on the Swifter. But what what are the green things you said that there was some sort of containers or something? That's what I was talking about. Oh, I see. Well, that's lovely. So I'm getting one of those. No. No. Oh. <laughs> Which one were you doubles then? The mop. <laughs> I got the mop. A bucket and a mop. No bucket. <laughs> No walk, just a mop. <laughs> you don't got no walk, just a mop, friend. <laughs> no walk, just a mop. <laughs> a swift a mop. Well, speaking of the Cardi B, did you see her big areolas? <laughs> no, the, I just know she got back with her fella. Yeah, she said she missed the dick. The D. Uh, <laughs> I don't blame her. I miss a little bit of that too. 
I just don't want to get COVID. But she could be with whoever she wants. It's true. It's true. She don't need dick that she has to rent to other women for free. Oh. <laughs> I just I just realized we don't got any sounds. Let me go to our sound machine. It's a device. It's a device we use to put a little bit of a spin in the podcast. Here we go. <laughs> Well, I did see her areolas, they were quite large. But I have to say, I've been with a woman before that had big areolas. They were quite interesting. I've seen a lot of nipples in my day. Some freak me out, I might say. <laughs> so you got the braille situation. You got the ones where you don't know where the boob starts and the nipples ends. <laughs> You got the ones that are perfect, just the right size, but they're looking different ways. <laughs> well, it's quite interesting. I'm not saying I have the most beautiful ones, but I'm saying, well, I do actually. <laughs> well, I like mine. They're just big enough. I've got big nips though. <laughs> More for some the more for some suckling. <laughs> I could suckle some thing in the air. I, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm saying. <laughs> well, it's quite all right. Let's see what else we had. <laughs> were, were you gonna tell me a story? Or was I gonna tell you a story? Well, I told you my story about. Oh yeah, <laughs> the papaya. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well. Tell me. Clean your nose, friend. <laughs> your allergies are kicking in. It I think like... I got pink eye. Oh, Lordy, don't say that. You know it's a side effect from the COVID. I was a little paranoid this morning because I woke up with a horrendous headache. But it might have been the wine <laughs> and the whiskey and more wine. I'm leaving random glasses of wine everywhere. Oh my. I lose it. Where's my wine? <laughs> I need like a clapper. Wine. Where are you? <laughs> I don't believe those exist, friend. Well, you could get a keychain and toy it on the end of your glass. And when you clap, it'll beep. That's actually a perfect, wonderful idea. You should come up with this device. I should patent it. Yes, you should. Wow. The wine glass, it'd be Cove Drunky edition. <laughs> Find my wine. <laughs> Find my wine, Cove Drunky. <laughs> I told you I submitted a new word. Um, what was it? For you I.O. cats and kittens, if you haven't already tuned, <laughs> tuned off because you think this is so annoying, <laughs> go to Urban Dictionary. It's, um, it's a website you see on this thing we call the Internet. And the Internet. You go, <laughs> you go in and you search for Cove Drunky, Cove Diet, Cove Chela, Cove Period, Cove Paranoid, and soon enough, Cove Cobwebs. <laughs> Oh, and now I've got one. Cove stressed. Cove, Cove stressed. Stress. And we also Cove got stress. Corona insomnia in there. Cove stress is a good one. You should. You should submit that, friends. Yours truly. Cove paranoia all day, every day, and at night as well. That's yes. What it is. Well, speaking about <clears throat> awful things in the world, I have. Um, did you see the what I've been calling the town hall or town hell? <laughs> one was the town hall, one was the town hell. That shit was awful, friend. What the fuck was that Cheeto thinking? He, he made a stupid fool of himself. That was... Um, I cannot wait for the day when Biden is president. That wasn't even entertaining. 
It was boring. It was awful. It was bad. Lies upon lies upon lies. How much more can this Cheeto lie to us? We're so quite tired of it. And of course he blames it on the media. He is the media. The media is so mean to me. They never give me a chance to talk. He's such a little baby. I don't like him at all. I think he's quite awful. I agree. So, you can vote. And you told me they um, put the uh, Amy something malarkey. Uh, malarkey. <laughs> on, <laughs> on the Supreme Court. Malarkey. <laughs> Did they really put her in there already? Um, well, they have all the Republicans have all the seats. So if all of them vote, it they defeat the the Democrats. So well, shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got a bunch of malarkey. <laughs> malarkey. Yes. We got Giuliani doing some crazy shit. That motherfucker looks like Shadow of the Vampire type of fella. Um, we got um. Oh, good news from that that um, organization, Quanon, or however you pronounce Inon. that. Enon. Enon. Quanon. Quanon. The Quanon. ones that believe that the Democrats are a bunch of pedophiles that murder children and eat their blood. Well, those guys, they put in an announcement today that today on the 17th, it marks the day when Donald Trump will announce uh, JFK Jr., as his running mate. Now, what the fuck are these guys talking about, friend? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? It's shenanigans for sure. Malarkey. Malarkey shenanigans. <laughs> Lord, needless to say, go vote, please go vote. It's yes, right. and well, the Native Americans in uh, Arizona because of COVID and a lot of them don't have vehicles, they're calling out to everyone to help them deliver their ballots. Well, you see, this is a perfect opportunity for people like Lyft and um, what's the other one called? Uber. It's a perfect opportunity for them to help. What the hell are they doing sitting on their butts? And all the Depression that's happening in um, the southern states like Georgia. Oh. Lines. Have you seen the lines? Even in early voting. I've seen it. It's lines horrendous. For miles. They only, in uh, one province in uh, Georgia, they only have, I forgot the stats, but. I know what you mean, and even uh, Texas. I was watching the lesbian, Rachel Maddow, and she was speaking about in Texas, there is a county where I believe that there is only 4,000 people there and there's one voting poll. And then there's another county on the other side of Texas that has 19,000 people and it also holds only one poll. And you see when people don't understand what voter suppression is, well, I suggest you do your research. Well, well, a lot of black and brown people are saying this happens every year. It happens all and the time. It's, and this black person was saying, um, you white people know what it's like now. <laughs> We're standing in line. This is what they do. They and then people don't want to vote because they don't want to stay in the line for five or six hours wearing a mask. Hello. I suggest people take voting as, a, as if they were going fishing. Just grab your lunch, grab your most comfortable chair, and just go there out go. there and relax and just wait for it because it'll come. Just like the fish that never come to us. There's a lot of memes with the 
like this one guy and this, I guess his gal saying, are you going on a camping trip? He's like, no, just going to voting, a voting trip. He's got like oh. a, chair, a, a chair, a lantern, some books to read, several books to read while they're waiting. Well, you better bring a cooler too, because you're going to get hungry and you're going to need to eat. And well, yeah, and I saw on, on social media, they were waiting for five hours. Oh my. And this older lady fainted from standing up. So they bought pizzas for everyone in line that was waiting. That sounds like Crazy. the main thing to do. People out there that have money and all these celebrities that make these stupid ass videos. Why don't you use your money for that? Why don't you buy pizzas for every polling station and all the sections that we already know they're going to be um, oppressed? Georgia, Alabama, the swing states. Or, or Native Americans here. That's a big vote there. They suppress the Native Americans. And I know they're not going to be voting for Trump. I don't know any native person that's going to vote for that asshole. Oh, Lord. Well, I hope not to. I hope they don't. Unless they got paid. So, you know. That would be quite rare, actually. I've never seen a Native American at a Trump rally, but but I haven't been to a Trump rally, but in the camera, they usually just put your token black person. Well, I've never been or to- Or Hispanic. I've, I've drove through one, which is was quite scary actually, but I've never been to one of those, but I have, um, I've seen this footage recently and it was an Indian man. It wasn't a Native American, but it was an Indian man. And he was sitting in the crowd. And uh, this politician pointed him out, made fun of him. And did you see recently that a politician made fun of our wonderful Kamala's name? He said that whatever her name is, I can't pronounce it. He's full of shit, first of all. And second, go fuck yourself, motherfucker. <laughs> Don't talk about Kamala. She's a wonderful lady. 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 Bro, these uh, martinis. Lady. She's, she's a, a wonderful lady. I quite love her. I think she's beautiful. She has it's everything quite, this country needs. quite need. a card. She has everything this country needs, you see. I have to say. And a sense of humor. She's and she cares it. about people and women. She doesn't want women or men to make decisions about women's bodies. I believe she's perfect. You perfect. Think, the other day I was smoking a cigar. And uh, cigar. I got lightheaded. And I started texting a certain person. It was... Uh, a bunch of gibberish, <laughs> but it was all about Kamala, <laughs> about how much I love her, and I think she's the one you see. Well, you know I'm crazy, and that person knows it too, so it was quite all right. But I'm just saying, you're Kamala, moisturizing your spirituality. I try to moisturize my spirituality in the mornings, but at night, <laughs> I make sure that it's moisturized by alcohol. I love it, you see. I believe it makes the peaches a bit stronger. When I put the alcohol, it's like putting water into a plant that's growing on the concrete. <laughs> Between the slats and the corners of the concrete. Well, this is true. Like a weed. Yes, of course. Well, it's quite frightening for some people, but for me, it's every day, so I just have to learn. I read this book that said, you either have to change or adapt, and it lessens your suffering. I've chosen to adapt. 
We listen to suffering every day. It makes things better. I believe. We'll see. <laughs> and speaking about bad, horrible things happening all over, um, New Mexico reached the 670 some cases. Hey, Dios mio. This is not a rating we wish for. This is horrible. I hate it. But it's where we're at. We. Of Donald Trump. Sorry, that was my alter ego. Well, well, fuck that Shido person. He's horrible. Fuck oh, Donald Trump. He can kiss my arse. And mine too while you're at it. Mm. I have to tell you a funny story. Well, tell me. Well, you know the dog that I'm having at my house? He likes to put his nose and smell your butt, but he'll poke his nose in your butt as you're walking away. Your butt? In my your butt. Nose. And I did happen to have a little bit of gassiness. <laughs> so I lit a toot and he did his little snout of my butt and he sneezed after I had a little bit of gas and he was very upset that I had passed the gas, but I didn't know he was going to stick his butt up my, or his nose on my butt. He sticks his nose up there and then he pushes it up, like, and I just released some gaseous, because I had eaten some pizza and I think the cheese made me a little bit gaseous. You might but, be lactose intolerant, friend. I know. But cheese is my weakness. Oh no. <laughs> well, how dare he? How dare he go into your privates and think that it's acceptable? And then you had to release and you release? I turned around and I said, that's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at me like. Well, I agree yeah. with you. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I shouldn't just be sticking things up your butt. <laughs> That's what he, he was trying to smell something different that maybe perhaps it wasn't what he's used to. And there you go. That's what you get. You get yes. what you want it. His, own, have, uh, his owner's got little tiny butts, so he doesn't know what to make of mine. <laughs> he's got to put it up there. I was dating a lovely lady back in the day and she used to say to me every time I was angry at her because she was quite ratchet, she would say to me, well, this is what you wanted. <laughs> and I kept thinking to myself, well, fuck. Well, I guess so, isn't it? I don't want it anymore. I don't, I don't want, want it anymore, but how do I move out of here? <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Shout out to the lady if she's listening. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye now. We're better off this way, and she knows it. <laughs> Vaya con Dios. Vaya con Dios, of course. <laughs> oh, Lordy. What else? <laughs> oh, my friend. Uh, Just laughter, I guess. Did you see. <laughs> We were speaking of Cardi B's areola, speaking of tea. Oh, yes. Did you see the article about Billie Eilish? Hmm, I did not. Tell it was me. quite disgusting, I should tell you. <laughs> they were judging uh, her body because apparently one day she was wearing tight clothes when most of the days she wears really baggy clothes too large for her body, let's say. But one day she was wearing those tight clothes and the paparazzi took a picture. And I don't know if I should say that she is 18, but she's got quite large bosoms. Bosoms. And um, they were judging her saying she's so proud because she's not a size zero and she's still out there. And everybody was disgusted. <laughs> Why are you speaking about a person that can't even drink legally? 
and we're speaking about her bosoms and everything. Why don't you just leave that girl alone? <laughs> and who gives a shit if you are not? Who wants a size zero nowadays, friend? That is kind of old timey. <laughs> uh, that's just, you know, the the person that gets raped and they say she shouldn't have been wearing those clothes. She asked, she was asking for it because she wore whatever. I'm like, I know what really? A woman should be able to wear what she wants. Yes, we not... ask, was she wearing a skirt? <laughs> oh my God. And... Awful joke. I'll get it. It's, uh, it's entertainment. Well, speaking of the Roe versus Wade situation. Oh, let's talk about that. And if it gets overturned, well, I was listening to one of the rallies for Trump just to see what he's going to say. Bro. And the, the chat, you know, the chat of the people talking is like, just Trumpers, Trumpers, trolls, I miss, they must pay them. And one of these gentlemen said, if you oh, just keep nothing. your legs closed, then you wouldn't have to have an abortion. Oh, Lordy. A man said this. It was a man, yes. An idiotic man. Well, and, man. I, and I say, well, you know, vasectomies, prevent abortions just the same would you like someone to tell you you need a vasectomy you know men men are quite stupid i should say well uh, tox toxic toxic men are stupid toxic, toxic men. men that believe that women are just there for their whatever and they're not well, that's back in the day. I don't know what world they're living in, in but the 19 1800s, maybe. Well, maybe, perhaps. Not 1950, 60. I don't think we are even more progressive than we back then, but you know. Perhaps they're just not educated and they're just quite um, stupid. And, um, well, they talk about killing babies and really, um, who's to say a fetus is a real baby? And that's what we're talking about, fetuses. And I don't know. I didn't want to get controversial, but, well, but a, women's, a but woman has a right to do what she wants to do with her body. Yes, of course, of course. But let me say this, friend. Why uh, did the Cheeto get better after getting COVID? Uh, because they gave him, um, what do they call the cells that they the, get babies? From, from unborn fetuses? Correct. So he used that and he's been using that. His family has been using that. And now we're opposed to it, right? Correct. Those people are opposed to it, but why is your leader and your what who you call your Superman using what you think is disgusting to use and to to try to help humanity so that one day we don't die? Well, nobody's going to admit that he took the vaccines. Although on a newscast, I can't remember, um, his son was talking about, well, he took the virus vaccine and he retract his conversation. Which are vaccine you, are you talking the, about? The vaccine that had the, you know, the vaccine that they're trying to produce so that it could, uh, you know, erase the the corona. So you're telling me that this motherfucker was a guinea pig for something that's not even approved? Well, he's the president of the United States and... Yes, but they wouldn't give him any 
Anything that would kill him. Well, maybe uh, they've got a vaccine that's tested and whatever, and they're just giving to the people who matter. Matter. But do you believe that would happen? I don't know in this world today. I don't know. Well, that makes me quite upset. <clears throat> That's why you should vote and vote blue. Oh, should I tell you, there's two women running for presidential election. Sheila Tittle and what's her name? Something now. Uh, Rivera? The Rivera or something. They're both, well, you have to be an American citizen to be, I think you have to be born in the United States to be president, right? What are you saying? Because of their names, they're, they're not American. You know, my last name is not American, so what are you saying? I'm saying that people, you know, dog her because she's got a Puerto Rican last name. Oh, I'm not saying. <laughs> I was the last name Puerto Rican, first of all. Well. <laughs> did, they, did they not pronounce yeah. the R properly? Rivera. <laughs> no, she, it said she was <laughs> gone to Puerto Rico many times. But she's not from Puerto Rico. I'm just, I'm not saying. She, well, I don't know about these ladies, but. It's inter I, I looked at them up and they're very interesting ladies from the Constitution Party. I've never heard of the Constitution Party. And the Socialist Liberation Party. I've heard of that. So, yeah. Well, I just think it's interesting. At least we have some options. Well. But they always say if you vote for anything other than the Democrat or Republican, you, you're giving the vote to the Republican. Exactly. Uh, and that was exactly my point. I believe that any other election, you you should do what you please. However, for this not election, today. Please, not today, please. Not today. For this, for this election, you, got to, you have to vote for Kamala. You have to vote for Biden and for this election. And after that, maybe we'll get back to normal. You see, what is normal anyway at this point? So forget about it. Uh, for this election, let's do it. Let's just get this motherfucker out. And then we can talk about all these ladies that have all these other. We need some normalcy. And well, even if you go to Biden's website, he talks about what he's going to do for education. He doesn't hire someone that's never been in a classroom or like Betty DeVos. That's exactly what I was going to say, dear. What has this bitch Betsy has done for us? Oh, no, she's taking care of the schools, the charter schools and taking money from We're public schools. Me. She's doing nothing. She's not even up and rallies her. It's a business. Stuff. They're trying to make education a business. Well, yes, I see. However, this is this is wrong. I don't accept it, and people shouldn't. But you know, this. As what? far as this New Mexico senator Harold Pope, he. And one of his fellas called me the other day and he was talking to me about what he stands for. He's a grassroots person, Harold Pope, a Democrat, but he does, does stuff for the Libertarian Party. <laughs> he does a lot of things for the children and education for young, young children. And I was like, you got my vote. So... Harry Pope, he's the senator for New Mexico. Well, okay, I should research some of this and I should come uh, conclude an opinion. 
and food up in opinion. <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm getting Why drunk. Are you making fun of me if I'm just trying to agree with your point? I don't know. I'm just being silly, I guess. <laughs> I'm a little bit cool, drunky. I am too. I am as well. I am as well. I keep thinking of that dinner I didn't get to make because all uh, the items were taken away from my order. And I keep thinking of my chips that I won't get to eat. So I'm wondering why. Well, what, what I went to see tonight, but I went I do to Walmart. Believe, I do believe I need another drink. Uh, is you okay with us getting another drink? Or yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! I saw your bum. Just kidding. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you something, friend. What is it, dear? I can tell when I'm getting cold drunky when I talk to myself. And I've been talking to myself for the last five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my okay. I believe I created another personality. 50 speeches. She's quite lovely. She's better than the rest of us. She's so sweet. I love her, you see. Um, however, the rest are still trying to do things. And we said no, no more martinis. But everybody else said yes, wrote it. And it was a majority. <laughs> Shit, it went down the wrong. You got the allergies. <clears throat> no, it just uh, <clears> the <throat> mm. little dangly thing in the back of my throat. Oh, you finally got it taken care of? <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't say. What? Oh, my. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> um, I ate some. Oh, I have to tell you. Tell me. Hold on. Hello. I went to Walmart. Mm. Walmart. <laughs> I don't know how to say that with a an English accent. Have but no anyway, I saw this pizza. Mm. It was already made. You just have to put it in the oven. It was four dollars and fifty cents. It was huge. What did it have on it? Everything. Onions. Sausage, pepperoni, um, mushrooms. It was the everything. But I got it yesterday, and it. I have a pizza pan. It's large, and it wouldn't even fit on there. But I've been. I can eat it for. It's like four meals for me. So I'm very oh, proud of my know. purchase. You can literally keep a pizza for four meals. Well, I'm very proud of you. Well, I just, they're, it's big. Well, I eat a medium pizza for myself in one night. This was extra large. Mm. Oh, oh my God. How many slices? Um... Twelve. Oh dear. Let me see. One, two, three, four. I usually can eat like two slices, and then because it's, you know. Oh, I hear the dog in there. Yes. Uh, I can eat about eight slices if it's a frozen regular pizza that I buy from the store, perhaps. But mm. if I order it, then I can eat about. Maybe four or five. Wow. <laughs> well, I sliced them. <laughs> I have big slices, and uh, I usually make Brussels, Russell sprouts. <laughs> Ooh, Russell Wilson sprouts. 
with the mm. pizza and so Ooh. I don't feel as bad because it's a vegetable. You had my have pizza. healthy, have trash food. I I actually have a, um, a story about that. Let me just, uh, I'm sorry, my mother texts me. It's all good. I'll drink some wine. The dog is, what the heck? The dog is, he plays with his toys and he lays on his back and he, I'm on, I'm on a Zoom. Hush. He's arguing with me. No, I hear him. I do want you to go outside because you bought get the other dogs. Hush. Should I light a candle? I wanted to tell you a story about um, the trash food and how you were saying about um, eating half healthy and half trashy, perhaps you could call. Um, I'm just trying well, to think. Tell the me. pizza had a lot of protein. It had sausage and pepperoni and cheese. Which I shouldn't be eating, but exactly, friend. You keep saying that, and you keep adding it in your diet. Yeah, diet. I I don't understand. You should try to be a bit more healthy. But I completely understand if they tell me don't eat hot sauce anymore. I believe I would die. Yes, but I did feel better with my head problems. After I had a cup of coffee, the cup of coffee helped relieve the pain. Did it make you take a shit? Yes, it did. Good. I took several shits today. Oh. <laughs> well, that's good, homie. That's good. <laughs> to be honest with you. Of course, we always are. <laughs> no bullshit here. No bullshit like the one that the Republicans are giving us at these Republicans times. Republicans can kiss my papaya. Oh, you 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 would want that from a Republican to give that do of figuratively. Oh, I see. Well, let me tell you a story. Figuratively, uh, they can kiss my big toe. <laughs> if you it's have attractive. If you had big areolas, I wouldn't even let you say that they would suck on them because they don't deserve them. This is true. This is very oh, true. Some big let me tell you a story. Nipples. I was um, <laughs> trying to put an end to my beer belly because I drink too much, you see. And, um, well, I've gained a lot of weight, you see, during the COVID. At oh, my first, God. At first, I was fine. I wasn't eating. I wasn't doing anything other than drinking. But then all of a sudden, well, I went to Las Cruces, remember? And after that, I ate so good that now I crave food. Now I want food. Now I want the regular meals. Now I want breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's too much for my little body. So it's expanding and it feels awkward and horrible. But at the same time, I'm just hungry all the time now, but I'm just, what can I eat? So um, I bought some snacks that were more healthy, you see. Granola, they called it. I never, I never, I never, I never really eaten this granola, but I, granola. so I bought this granola treats. They have a little bit of coconut and a little bit of chocolate. Coconut. I like the coconut. That's why I thought I could actually swallow that shit. Because they had coconut and chocolate. But these are rough, you see, because I'm not used to this type of snack. Right at night, I just want my chips with hot sauce. But I decided, okay, peaches just calm down. Eat a little bit of that granola that you just bought. And I tried it, and it's okay, I guess. Oh, feels like a couple of peanuts. 
Like it really doesn't do anything for me, you see. Well, um, I've never really enjoyed the street, but um, well, I love trash food, you see. That's my favorite. Granola's got a lot of fiber. Well, apparently it's very good for you, but I just don't enjoy it. But um, my cat was very curious, and I always try to give him a little bit of whatever I'm eating, but he never really eats anything. So I gave him a little bit of the granola, and he ate it, and he loved it. And I thought, well, what is this, and why does he love it? But he ate it, and uh, I think he enjoyed it. I believe he enjoyed it very much. But I still don't. So maybe now those are cat treats. <laughs> because I don't want that. Because I just want chips with hot sauce, please. What if I die tomorrow from the COVID? I just want my hot sauce. <laughs> well, you know, people eat cake and sweets. And sweets are more, you know harmful for your body than a potato mm, but I potatoes i love potatoes too mm, especially if you put butter and other things in there Ooh, you know I press record record and i believe it's recording i'm sorry about that what what were you saying i was saying that cauliflower mashed potatoes are not the same <laughs> Mm, I believe that's true. No, it's not. Potato is a potato is a potato. It's like a potato or a dictator. <laughs> <laughs> I will put the picture for the Isle Cats and Kittens that watch this on YouTube so you can understand what we're talking about. But we're basically just joking around like two couple of gals. Just roaming around, gals. So a couple of gals in the world roaming around, adulting. Just we're, ele so we're elegant, elegant ladies. We're trying to be some elegant ladies, but in reality, sophisticated. We're a bit ratchet, and you know it. Sophisticated ratchet ladies. That's better. I believe this is true. But I put a little wine in my eyes. I mean, ice in my wine. <laughs> Don't judge me. I've had quite a few martinis with uh, large. What are these called again? Olives. Olives. <laughs> with pimento. We're going to go pimento in the middle. Olives with the pimento, I forgot. I'm a bit drunk, you see. <laughs> not I, said the drunkard. Mm. I'm not drunk. I, I'm just happy. I'm I happy. Oh, I am too, of course. Are you watching Saturday Night Live tonight? Of course. Oh, me too. I believe it's going to be lovely, even yes. though that little lesbian boy is going to be the artist, I believe. Yes. The Bieber. He's, he's okay and to participate in the sketches, which... Is something that I'll give him. You know how I feel about him. I I'm, I don't really enjoy him, but who is the uh, person uh, uh, hosting? I want to say it's Issa Ray, but I might be wrong. But I believe it's Issa Ray, which I would be very happy. They've had a lot of African Americans, which I love. I believe it brings a little bit of culture. culture. You know. I've heard a lot about the last performer and everybody loves it and they thought he was amazing. I thought he was really rude and his sketches were horrible, but apparently everybody else loved him. So what the fuck do I know, I guess? He, yeah. The sketches were horrible. Agree. The sketches were terrible, bro. Did you enjoy them? Uh, I only enjoyed Colin and Michael Shea and that's Zach always good. That's Feller, always good. The fellow that's really tall and skinny. What his name? Forgot his name. I love Pete. P 
Pete Davidson. I love and Kate Davidson. He's quite I love Kate. And yeah, the others, I don't know. Oh, a little bit of what was his name? The my mind. Well, I believe that even Kate McCannon has lost her wit and she's not even funny anymore. Yeah, that was the first well, was the first time well, what happened being back to together. Her? Remember Leslie Jones? Oh, I miss Leslie. Oh, but she was quite funny and uh she was very hilarious. And she left at the most appropriate time because people felt that maybe it wasn't her time and she was rushing to things and she believed that she could have other movies and things. But look at her now. She's doing quite lovely, I believe. I don't really know. I don't know her personally. I love her stand-up comedian. Exactly. She's very funny. She's very real. Like a real person. Person. <laughs> well... I have to be honest with you, my friend. My friend, be honest with me. I'm quite drunk. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm quite drunk and uh, I believe I've had a little bit too much to drink and for a lady, I guess, that's a little not acceptable. But for me, since I'm not a lady- and Who I'm says, what's a lady? A lady can drink? It's just, we're not in the back in the olden times where women were supposed to be barefoot and pregnant. Well, I don't know about that, friend, because according we're to not. the new Cheeto president, this is where they want to put us and back in our place where we belong. Well, fuck that. Well, look at this. I saved my cigar from last night, and this is all <laughs> I had left. <laughs> oh, that's a teeny tiny, teeny tiny. Look like a micro dick we were speaking about in the last podcast. Go. <laughs> there you go. I want to get a cigarette. Smells so can. lovely. Smells so lovely. You know what, though? We should go to the cigar store. If they're open now with the COVID and everything, I don't know what's happening. Well, we should Bars, now we have to close at 10. Well, we should buy some quality cigars. Of course, we're not going to be able to find these Cubans. However, we will be able to find something that's up to par for the Americans. The Yankees love this. I'm sure they have something that will be pricey. But I believe it's worth it. Also, I believe we need to find a little bit of the herb to calm our nerves. <laughs> calm our nerves. <laughs> we get a little bit crazy, you see. I'm expecting some California herbs soon. Oh, my. Well, that sounds lovely. I wish I would. But uh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I ha I am quite tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've got to go to the bathroom now. I can't believe we've kept up the accents for so long. I don't even know what the fuck just happened, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm just going to say cheerio. I'm going to trust and I'm going to edit and hopefully it comes out to some sort of relevant or some sort of podcast that maybe perhaps we can use, maybe not. We'll see. I perhaps. don't know. Maybe we'll have to record this again. We won't see. Perhaps we will find Perhaps. out tomorrow Perhaps. when I feel better. But um, I don't have a headache anymore, but we well, just won't lovely. take it easy. Well, that's lovely. I am what you call the 50 speeches. In La Rizzi here, in her home, suburbia-like. Well, this is correct. And collectively, we do form a thing that's called the Bodega Podcast. Bodega Cats. Hey, by the way, real quick, did you know what is the little city where the birds attack? 
Do you remember? The city? The little place where the birds actually attacked in the movie. I've been watching this, I told you, two, three times already, probably four times in the last month. Do you remember is it, the city? Is it like Kansas? Well, it's right next to San Francisco. I'll give you that hint. It's actually called the Bodega Bay. Really? And I feel like some sub subconscious shit in my brain maybe perhaps okay. developed this name because of that situation because I'm so traumatized by, well, let's not talk about it. That's a hundred. That's the hundred episode. We're not going to give you so many gems. We've already given you so much, you see. So I am 50 speeches and that is. The reason. And we are collectively the Bodega Cats. Yes. Yeah. Ah, Bodega Cats. <laughs>